What is up everyone? This is Enzo. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are going to make some big signings in this episode, guys. Speaking of signings, I don't know if you guys could see right there, right after that message of Spears, Rashford to Bournemouth for $41 million. That's a FIFA transfer if I've ever seen one. Don't think that would ever happen. But anyway, we're going to jump right into this final of the summer verse. Lyon in the, fi the final of the European International Cup, the big summer cup that we're participating in going with Jekyll and Lataro up front Balero in the middle this formation is definitely going to change in this episode I believe the, the our formation still a little off because we don't have all that Conti doesn't have all the players in the lineup that he wants uh and the formation still not quite right we still need to shift around the midfield early on though here Balero loops one over the bar Leon have a, had a strong team this past year so this year in game did very well they beat City at home they or was at home they, they beat them once and drew them another i would assume the game they won was at home latado comes flying in on the far side goes for the miraculous effort anyhow i was saying yeah leon had a had a great team last year they made they had some nice wins and uh really played some great you know some great football or soccer or whatever you want to call it we don't judge here whatever you want to call it i don't care but anyway first half is already going to come to a close we're all talking about the same game anyway aren't we passes it inside jekko latado feeds it through to jekko back to the big man the bosnian bomber snipes one for the top corner lopez very underrated keeper makes a top drawer save right there Feeds it back out to Godin. Godin into Gagliardini. Gagliardini, Barella, Barella, Candreva. Oh, the old man tries to place one in the top corner. Tries to float one right in there. Just too much height on that one. De Vrij over to Ronokia. Ronokia. Where's, his, where's he going with it? Can't dribble the ball whatsoever. Hasamoa, Jekyll, Brozovic. Vecino, the Uruguayan into Lataro, the Argentine. Wonder kid. I, w I really hope he has a breakout year this year. Did showed some flashes last year. Still only like 2021. 20, I hope he has a big year this year. Latado into Versalico. Versalico side netting in the 90th minute. It right into stoppage time. The Croatian hero, the World Cup hero, now becomes the Inter hero. Right at the death. That surely has won the title for Inter. Right in the side netting, made a 90-yard run down that right side of the field. I don't know if he did. I really wasn't, didn't notice, but let's call it a 90-yard run down the side of the field. Into the far netting, one nothing. Inter celebrates with his boy in the crowd. I don't know if he knows that guy or not. one nothing. Let's hold on real quick. Ultra defensive, park the bus, put on Mourinho mode. Steals it right back, Vecino, Jekyll, keep the ball. Sensi. Ronokia, just Ronokia. hold it. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on. Oh my God, ref, blow the whistle. Yes, there it is. We are the Summer League champions. You know, not a trophy that anyone cares about, but we'll still take it. We'll still take it. You know, get Conti will love that. Start the morale off on the right foot. Get us, get us going this season. Handanovic, the captain, gonna celebrate. With the confetti falling everywhere. We're, here's a transfer offer from Liverpool for Mauro Icardi. 87 million euro. This is a very odd fit when this came in. I know it's FIFA and, you know, the transfers are just whatever. But I don't think he would really fit in at Liverpool. I don't think, you know, when Firmino plays, he plays more as almost uh, a false nine of sorts. So Icardi is more of an out-and-out -out target man. So I, I don't really see him fitting into the Liverpool system. Icardi doesn't do a lot of... Uh, I don't want to say he does no pressing, but he's not, he doesn't do a whole lot if he's not scoring a lot of goals. Amazing player, don't get me wrong, but it just, it's, it, it's, his game doesn't fit in Liverpool that well to be, if, in my opinion, anyway. Who knows? Maybe it'd be great. But anyway, Jurgen Klopp, we will not go for one. We want to offer 100 billion. Jurgen says, no, I can only do 93.9. Let's see. I think we're going to go ahead and accept that. Anywhere close to 100, I'm happy with selling a Cardi. 100 million for a player we don't want. Of course, Jürgen doesn't know that in the game that we don't want him, but <laughs> we're trying to get his drama drama queen butt out of here with him and his wife. So 93.9 million in our pocket. An offer for from United for Kendreva. 
another weird transfer but our budget is now up to a healthy around 130 million we should definitely be able to go back in and make another run at Lukaku take that Icardi money we're basically swapping Lukaku for Icardi at this point but not you know directly <laughs> Let's see, we want to go back down to 75. They want 102.2. I think we're going to counter that one more time. Try to get them under 100. Let's go slightly lower than that. Let's do 90. 90,000 even. We'll probably accept whatever they come back with. Because that would be, that'd be more than okay with me. Then at that point, it's basically 93,000. That's perfect. Basically a straight swap for Icardi. Because originally, remember, they wanted... Originally, United wanted Icardi plus 36 million for Lukaku, and I thought that was kind of insulting to Icardi, even though we are trying to get rid of him. But we basically ended up swapping him right out anyway, because we sold just sold Icardi to Liverpool to the rescue for like 93, and then turned right around and bought Lukaku for 93. So more or less swapped them out in the end. We will. That's starting to look like a proper team now. Jeko. And Lukaku at the top, uh, Godin, De Vrij, and Skriniar in the back line, Hendanovic in goal. Uh, I think we're still going to try to find a wing back. Azamo and Versalico are solid. I like our midfield, but Vecino and Brozovic, that Politano, that's not going to be a cam. That's going to be more of a, a midfield three than a two men. Yeah, there we go. So I finally got around to fixing it. There it is. So it's going to be the three midfielders in the middle, the wings, Jekyll and Lukaku up top. I put a couple settings on, I think, Politano. I think on the wing backs to push. So it's at Jekko and Lukaku aren't going to be as isolated as, th as this picture makes it look like. But I think this is closer to how Conte plays. Uh, anyway, I think the team's starting to look pretty solid here. We are we might need to fill out the bench a little bit. I think Boldekete should use more, but I know his loan's ending at the end of the season. So I don't know. I, I still might use him, you know, in the cup games and whatnot, or where players need a rest. Uh, our midfield, I think, is going to be Barella, Brozovic, and Vecino. Even though Barella is only 77, he's only 21 and has big potential. He's definitely going to grow, I would imagine, to at least 80 by the end of the season. But for now, we're going to jump into the first game of the season, the first official game for Sassuolo. With our newly formed team, I think it looks pretty solid. Every player is above 80. Well, Azamo is 79, Barella 77. Right into the game, Brozovic. Right off the bat, over the net. Barella would have been an amazing debut. Lukaku, the Belgian beast, snipes one. Concili is pumped about that save. Tipped that one around the bar. Great save. Barella feeds it into Vicino, Azamo, Jeko, Jeko. Does the defender off the crossbar? We are looking sharp here early. We finally got our full, full squad. Almost everyone we want. Still looking to make one more signing. I think we have the budget to do so, but we're looking good right now. Azamoa cuts it on his left, chips it in the middle. Lukaku on his debut, puts Inter up one nothing. First goal of the season for Inter. This is why Conte was so desperate to bring him in all summer long. He's gonna run over and celebrate with Conte. No, he's gonna go right to the fans. Couldn't find Conte on the sidelines. Gonna celebrate with his boys in the crowd. His new, his new Inter friends. Who knows? Came close to I got to change his number from 14 to 9. I originally gave Jekko 9 because I signed Jekko first. And Lukaku 14. How did I come up with that? I think... I forgot. He either wore it one year at Everton or he wore it at Gank or something like that. He wore 14 somewhere along the line. I don't remember where. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and whip this one in with Brozovic at the back post. Oh! Miraculous defending by Sassuolo. Barella on his right foot. Bottom corner. That's why we brought this kid in so young. Nice effort there. Consili keeping Sassuolo in it. Inter. Lukaku on his left. Snipes the corner again. This game is Lukaku versus Consigli. The keeper Consigli have an amazing game, but Lukaku is just too good right now. Two goals in his first game. Jumps right up on the barricade. Right in front of, I don't know, is he is he, in, is he rubbing it right in the Sassuolo fans' face or is that the, the away travelers? Excellent defending right there from Skriniar. Conti will love that just as much as the goals. Back in front of the net, Dzeko clips it off the post. This game is fast and furious, already into the 94th minute stoppage time, and Inter's going to take this one 2 to nothing. 
great great performance from us first game of the season though traveling away support is gonna love that great game from us though great way to start the season but Ella, everyone's happy Conte should surely appreciate having surely appreciate that Lukaku two goals on his debut we'll take that all day long hope you guys enjoyed the video and the new signings gonna keep this up posting tomorrow at the same day go ahead and subscribe if you want to if not that's cool too had fun doing this hope you guys all have a great day see you later